right, guys, right before we hop into this video, if you could be sure to drop a like on this video for your boy, I'm literally showing you guys in this video the best moves to break ankles consistently, not just sometimes, not just here and there, literally every time you come up the floor, if you're spamming these moves, you will get ankle breakers every time. I broke down every single dribble move in this game. I labbed for the past couple days straight, and I made sure to compile a video showing you guys the best moves to consistently break ankles in this game. So if you haven't already, be sure to drop a like on the video. Also, be sure to hit that sub button. Be sure to hit that noti bell so you guys don't miss a thing. And without further ado, I'm going to stop wasting all this time. Let's jump into the video. Peace. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Breeze coming to you with a brand new NBA 2K21 video. And as you guys can see by the title today, guys, we're going to be showing you the best dribble moves to break ankles consistently every time in 2K21. They just put ankle breakers in the game. And now, after the newest patch, patch four, patch three, whatever you want to call it, the Halloween patch, you're going to be able to break ankles consistently. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys the best moves to do it with so first things first make sure that you guys go put on ankle breaker make sure if you can put it on hall of fame this is going to get you a lot of ankle breakers using these moves i'm going to show you in this video also make sure you put on space creator hall of fame as well we'll be getting into why this badge is good for ankle breakers later in this video so make sure you put this on as well however if you find it not to be as effective as you would like Put on tight handles because tight handles will freeze your defender up a lot after the newest patch. This is a really good badge. And of course, if you could put on all three, that's even better. So as you guys could see, these are the types of ankle breakers you can expect now after you're done watching this video. Shout out to my boy Cole and statistics for these clips. I'll leave the link to both these guys down in the description. Both of these guys catch consistent ankle breakers after the newest patch. They're some of the best dribblers in the game. And if you guys aren't already following them, make sure you guys go check them out below because as you guys could see, these guys know how to break ankles. And now that they're in the game, these guys are going to be going crazy after the newest update because these ankle breakers are absolutely OP now. Once you know what you're doing, you're going to be snapping ankles consistently. Unfortunately, I don't have playmaking takeover, so... I'm not going to lie. I was not prepared for this update, so I made sure to go out and get you guys some clips so that way I could show you guys exactly what to expect. However, in these clips right here, as you can see, we're going in the personal workout mode in the my court. This is where you guys are going to want to practice these moves, and I'm on the PC right here. That's why I'm in the penthouse, and right here, I have the playmaking takeover so that way I can show you guys how to get these ankle breakers. Now, you don't need a playmaking takeover, but when you have playmaking take activated, you will get an ankle breaker on almost every single move that I show you in this video. However, as you guys saw in those first clips, I didn't even have it activated and I was still stunning him and I still broke his ankles multiple times. So without further ado, let's go over the moves that you guys need to do if you wanna break ankles consistently. So the first move that you guys are gonna be doing a lot is these behind the back moves coming up the court. I left a dribble tutorial down below in the description that I personally uploaded showing you guys my dribble moves. And you guys can go watch that if you wanna see exactly how to do the moves I'm doing. However, I'll be breaking down to you guys the exact moves I'm doing to get ankle breakers every time. So as you guys can see, the first thing we're doing a lot is that behind the back right there. Behind the backs and snatch backs will get you guys the most ankle breakers out of any other move just like prior 2Ks. As you guys can see, I'm just running left and right and doing this behind the back switching directions. I'm flicking my right stick diagonal down into the left or diagonal down into the right to move back the opposite direction while holding R2 or RT the entire time. And as you guys could see, when I get that stop momentum behind the back animation to run back and speed boost the opposite direction, it is breaking the defender's ankles consistently. As you guys can see, he's literally spinning in circles, having no idea which way I'm going, what to do. His ankles are just getting snapped. And now that this is in the game, guys, you can go absolutely insane with these ankle breakers. Whether you have playmaking takeover shot creator takeover or sharpshooter takeover does not matter you will get the most ankle breakers with playmaking and shot creator take however you don't need it as long as you got your ankle breaker rating on a high level and you're doing these moves you're seeing in this video so again you want to be doing a lot of snatchbacks and when you're spamming these snatchbacks and behind the back moves you will be stunning them consistently breaking their ankles and causing them to go into these animations that they cannot control now 
one of the other best moves that you guys will see me do to break ankles a lot is step backs so as you guys can see right here i tried spamming park handles to see if that would work to break ankles park handles unfortunately do not really break ankles like that you'll see later in the video me spamming them trying to get his ankles to break but again park handles are not good for ankle breakers so don't try to do park handles don't try to do like curry slides to break ankles don't try to do moves that you would think would break ankles a lot of times when it comes to breaking ankles if you really want to actually break them and get that shooting boost off of a playmaker it's gonna really just come down to you doing snatchbacks and behind the backs at the right time behind the backs and snatchbacks and half spins are the three moves that will get you the most ankle breakers and then the fourth move that will get you guys the most ankle breakers out of any other move is the step back where you just flick down on the right stick and that move right there right there as you guys can see i just did it two times that move will break their ankles almost every single time with and without takeover it's actually insane for some reason when you do these step backs like what you saw right there that step back move you will break their ankles every time now if you guys want to shoot out of that step back move without getting a fadeaway just tap l2 or lt while your player is mid step back and you can shoot a normal shot right out of the step back and it'll be clean you won't get you know one of those fadeaway animations where you're fading away and breaking the shot as you guys can see he's literally eating the dirt right now licking the hardwood as i knock down another shot these are extremely easy to do and when you're spamming these moves online you will break your opponent's ankles every time now getting into the next point that i wanted to make for you guys if you guys want to break ankles consistently your defender has to be in front of you if your defender is just not guarding you or he's nowhere near you you won't break their ankles now obviously that means you probably have a wide open shot but you're only going to break their ankles when they're squared up with you or when they're actually trying to play defense on you. you know if they're just if their defense is just so crucified that they can't keep up with you or if you know they're just playing way back not trying to guard you obviously you won't break their ankles but as long as they're right in front of you squared up to you when you do these moves that's when you're going to get these stun animations these ankle breaker animations consistently i found that spamming these behind the back moves left and right and the step backs are the most effective to getting ankle breakers now coming up the floor of course Hit them with a, uh, a half spin and you'll break their ankles a lot with a half spin as well. However, half spins, you can't really get as consistently when you're just trying to break them down in ISO in the half court. So I highly recommend just spamming these behind the back moves. And then when they're playing up on you tight, get separation with a step back or a curry slide and then just get back to work with the behind the backs. Or you could just spam the step backs if you wanted to. You could literally go step back, speed boost, step back, speed boost step back speed boost does not matter as you guys can see right there i do three step backs and we stun him two times now on the step back you're either going to get that stun animation or he's going to stumble really hard like that every single time like what you guys just saw those step back animations are killer as you guys can see a lot of times it'll just give them a little stun animation and once you get comfortable with it you're going to know when to pull out of it and you can pull these shots out of it consistently and knock down shots especially once you get the hang of these ankle breaker animations because you'll see a lot of times just learning these moves in this my court a lot of times i take some weird dumb shots because i didn't expect to break their ankles i'm like whoa i was not expecting that and that's why it's important to know the best moves to break their ankles consistently because once you know the best moves to do that stuns them breaks their ankles and gives them off balance you'll know when to expect an ankle breaker and then that way you'll be able to react to ankle breakers even faster you'll be able to pull shots and green them consistently as you can see i'm literally putting him on the floor consistently with these same moves whether i'm running up the court doing a snatch back whether i'm running up the court doing a step back like that to stun them these moves will break their ankles consistently it'll put them on the floor and they'll give you wide open shots and i'm pretty sure ankle breakers give you a shooting boost too i think in the old 2ks ankle breakers always gave you a shooting boost when the ankle breaker badge actually popped up so let me know guys down below once you start doing these moves if you guys are getting a shooting boost and noticing more greens uh out of an ankle breaker because every time that you used to get an ankle breaker in old 2ks it would give you a shooting boost it would give you a higher chance to actually hit your shot 
I'm sure that's still the case in this game too. I'm not really sure why they would change that. So that's another bonus to this. So if you guys want to go make another player and have some fun before next gen, go make a player with playmaking takeover if you don't already have it because now playmaking takeover is one of the best takeovers in the game if not the best so be sure to go put on playmaking take if you haven't already and if you want to have fun with the dribble moves with the ankle breakers in this game they're actually extremely op and you guys will see online you guys can get these ankle breakers consistently it's not a gimmick this video is not clickbait this is literally how to get ankle breakers consistently. You guys can see I am getting that ankle breaker badge popping up every single time. He's getting stunned. He's getting put on the ground. I'm getting ankle breaker animations almost every time using these moves right there. I even did a park handles and we broke his ankles. So there's so many different ways to break ankles now after this newest patch. And for all you guys who already have playmaking takeover out there, it must be like Christmas for you guys because now your badge is actually useful outside of just dimer passes and you can get these greens consistently out of these ankle breakers and you'll be able to snap ankles and really just be one of the most overpowered players in the park every single game. I've seen players running it up in the comp stage in the comp prime literally just spamming these moves over and over again waiting to get an ankle breaker animation. The defender will just start holding circle you know where they you know try to take a charge to try to not get their ankles broken and even then the ankle breakers right now are so op that there's nothing you can really do about it because that's what 2k always does always know that if something is not good enough in 2k let's say it just doesn't work so for example in this case ankle breakers didn't work up until this point always expect once they actually fix it and make it work it will be way too overpowered it'll be way too good and when they tone stuff down it'll literally be going from useful to useless like now fades are practically useless unless you have the meter on with the meter off if you do not green a fade you will miss it every time but now because they buffed the ankle breakers that were before useless now they're way too op you will break ankles pretty much every single time up the floor when you're spamming these moves that i showed you guys in this video so without being said guys this has been your breeze i'm signing out if you guys found this video helpful be sure to drop a like i literally just showed you guys the exact moves that you want to do that you want to spam to get ankle breakers and this is essentially going to make you unstoppable because these moves are literally all you have to do over and over again to get them into stun animations to break their ankles and to score every single time so with that being said guys this has been your breeze i'm signing out once again be sure to drop a like on the video if you haven't already also be sure to sub to the channel and turn on the noties so that way you guys don't miss a thing we got a lot of fire content coming out up until next gen and beyond so with that all being said guys once again it's your boy breeze i'm signing out peace